Now, a couple of weeks ago, we brought you the story of a County Durham man who had aspirations of walking again by his 30th birthday. He'd had a motorcycle accident, he'd broken his back, which left him in a wheelchair. Now, only groundbreaking medical treatment could help him potentially walk again. If successful, it could be truly significant in terms of medical advancement. He would be the first person in the world to have this treatment. I'll say that again, he'd be the first person in the world to have this done. This is Andrew speaking to us in October. Um, I don't fully remember all the actual circumstances surrounding the accident. Um, it was just a, a nice sunny day, May the 20th. Um, I was out on my bike near Chessie Street in Durham um, and I had a collision with a car. Um, the next thing I remember just being on the floor and I remember not being able to feel my legs. Uh, maybe it's in true biker fashion I didn't want my leathers cutting off when the paramedics were there and then I just remember waking up in the RVI hospital in uh, in Newcastle with my sort of family and loved ones around me speaking to the, the medical experts at the RVI they quite quickly soon after the incident just said that due to the extremities of the injuries that they in their professional opinion wouldn't think I'd walk again and would be in a, a wheelchair for the rest of my life I instantly asked if anyone in my position had ever walked again um, with the injuries that I had and the answer they said was yes but probably less than 5% and my then initial response was just well you know you're looking at one of those 5% and 5% is not 0% so there's definitely a chance for me to walk again and it kind of just put a bit of a fire in my belly to think right yeah. well I'm going to prove you wrong sort of thing and then naturally I think anyone in my position I've been doing a lot of research in spinal cord injury sort of um, repairs and medical technology and advancements which has led me to find this uh, this treatment in Thailand so the cost uh, is very expensive it's £50,000 so I am um, currently have a, a GoFundMe page um, GoFundMe.com Andrew-Bell set up which is hoping to try and raise um, funds to, to get me there so Andrew managed to raise the money to have the operation in Thailand and he's there undergoing the treatment needed as we speak. He's determined to prove the medics wrong. Well, he turned 30 a couple of days ago, so have his expectations been met? We can go live to Thailand now and hopefully link up with Andrew now. Andrew. Hello, Mike. How are you? I'm very well. Happy belated birthday. <laughs> thank you very much and thanks for having me again. You're, you're welcome. It's a pleasure to talk to you. So, um, what has happened since we last spoke? Uh, yeah, well, a lot actually happened. Um, I've come out to Thailand. As you say, I was very fortunate that my uh, parents managed to sort of secure the money at the short-term basis, having spoken to you, and I've managed to come here and uh, start the uh, the treatment, which, uh, to be honest, has just gone from strength to strength. Um, I had my procedure for the, the operation on the 17th of uh, November, and ever since then, the the sort of rehab and the recovery has gone as well as it could have possibly cost possibly gone and then the sort of process that that's uh, included in the treatment just really couldn't have gone any better to, to to the point where i've already sort of surpassed all of the medical expectations and i've sort of achieved things that they've never seen here before um so we're sort of creating new groundbreaking milestones uh, on, a, on a daily basis really so for, for, so for me and my family and friends it's uh, it's, it's just been very surreal but just just to be clear about this andrew this is you're the first person in the world then to have this treatment no well i'm the first person in the world to have it so soon after their accident um i think it's it's normally you're told to sort of allow two years after any accidents in my sort of case to allow all of any swelling and injury to sort of settle down but my accident was only five and a half months after uh, coming here to, to do the treatment uh, so I was the first person to, to not wait the two year period so to speak uh, but it's, it seems to have uh, held me in good stead because my legs are, are a lot stronger, my body's a lot stronger and it's taken to the, to the treatment a lot better so um, it was a bit of a, a, a risk but more of a calculated one right. um, and it, and it certainly paid dividends. So what have they actually done, Andrew, and, and why does it cost so much? 
Um, they've inserted something called an epidural stimulator into my spinal cord. So it's basically like um, it's a stimulator that has wires and they attach it to the to the base of your spinal cord. And then I can send messages from my brain down my spinal cord to the stimulator and it sends an electronic signal. So it basically bypasses my level of paralysis. So it sort of creates an artificial spinal cord. But then I then have to teach the stimulator to work in sync with my legs. Now, there was no guarantee that that would be able to happen, or if it, if it, if it was, there was no guarantee that it would, you know, it did work all of my legs or all of my lower body, but anyone in my position who has the opportunity to do this would, would obviously jump at the chance, and I've just been so fortunate that since, uh, since, day, since the first day we tried the stimulator, I had instant success where I could lift my knees to my chest, so going on to... The Today, even walking for ah. the first time today. I was going to ask. So you've done it. You have walked for the first time again. Yeah, today. Well, I have to admit, today was quite easily hands down the uh, the best day I've had since my accident. I'm not going to lie. And um, this morning, I managed to stand for uh, over half an hour just in a walker, uh, just totally unaided on my own. Um, and then this afternoon, for the first time, we tried walking in the walker. Um, just with a sling as a precaution, but um, yeah, so I've made my, my first steps. Um, this is still a long, long way to go, but um, if you told me that I was able to do that uh, while I was still here, um, I wouldn't have probably believed you because the plan was to come here and do the treatment and then with a lot of physiotherapy at home, hopefully walk within essentially sort of six months. Um, so the fact that I'm now able to have done that within three weeks of my operations just uh you know was not not yeah. on the cards uh, for anyone i don't think that must have been quite a tearful moment was it tears of joy um i'm not gonna lie i think i, I when i do a lot of the physio I, I sort of zone myself out and i just concentrate and i'm so determined on making sure that every day i tell myself it has to be better than the next the, the day before so I, I I always get videos taken. So I come back to my room and I'm, I have time to sort of look back and reflect and and sort of look. And after admit today was just uh, I've uh, been grinning from ear to ear. So yeah, because uh, <laughs> I mean, the, 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 very if, if we're honest, there was no guarantee anything was going to work, was there? No. Well, I'm the seventh person to do it here in, in Thailand, and I'm the twelfth person in the world but I'm the only person to have seen these results in such fashion. It's taken, I know in America, uh, they train someone for seven months beforehand, and then it's, I think it's been two years now, and I've already surpassed their results. So in three weeks, I've surpassed their results who've done it two years ago. And then again, I've surpassed everyone already who's done it here, and I think they had their first one a year ago. So um, maybe just my level of fitness prior to my accident and uh, coming here so early after my accident and you know, there's a positive mindset just uh, paid, paid dividends I think. Well it, it's a tremendous story Andrew, um, really really pleased that it's worked out the way it has so so wh when will you walk again? Will you do it again today? Yeah, well I do it again, it's, uh, we're seven hours ahead of you here so I've, I've just had a, a sort of, I do some stem cell injections as well which I've just had um, so I'm uh, just resting up for the rest of today, but we'll do that every day now for another remainder of my time, which is um, potentially now going to be extended because, again, we're doing things that are defying medical science and it's, uh, it's advantageous for potentially the hospital and for myself to stay maybe it's a bit longer to, who knows, maybe it's even get me to walk without any aids at all before I leave. So with this talk of the... Um, potentially me staying a little bit longer to try and, uh, you know, achieve even greater things, which, of course, is, uh, is, is something I'd be well, crazy not to, to want to do. Tremendous news, Andrew. Really, really pleased. And, uh, and I gather you've agreed to send us some footage of, of you walking then, so we'll, we'll get that up on our Facebook page just as soon as we can. Yeah, I'm waiting for the footage to come through, which was taken from some of the uh, physios today. But, yeah, as soon as I get that, I, I promised I would... Uh, forward that on and let, let you have a look and, right. uh, and uh, let everyone sort of uh, and that's again another huge passion I now have is to try and raise 
as much awareness. You know, I was extremely fortunate to come here through the help of um, my mum and dad and then, you know, luckily seeing an article about the treatment. But there's a lot of people in the UK and worldwide who don't know about it. So if I can raise awareness and give a bit of hope to anyone else to let them know that these things are happening, then that's a, it's a huge passion of mine. Terrific. Uh, very selfish of me. Terrific to talk to you. Andrew Bell, thank you very much indeed. So as soon as we get that footage, we will put it up on our Facebook page and uh, tell listeners about it. Uh, Andrew Bell, what a tremendous story. Uh, Andrew talking to us live from Thailand.